Hi, everyone, and welcome to our final pocket chat on behalf of the Chicago Bar Association and the Chicago Bar Foundation Sustainable Practice of Law and Innovations Task Force. I'm Lynn Grayson. I'm the Chicago Bar Association's first vice president, and along with my co-chair, Marianne Mason, um, we're here today to wrap up the pocket chats that we've created for each of the recommendations launched by our task force. We're very pleased today to be joined by Bridget um, Deegan, a member of the Modernizing Law Referral Committee and an important member of our task force. Bridget has an active litigation practice with her personal injury law firm of Lathero and Indignant in Chicago. During our chat today, we're going to discuss recommendation number six, streamlining and modernizing the rules around lawyer advertising. This lawyer was put forth by Bridget's committee, the Modernizing Referral Committee, and that committee is comprised of legal professionals who work together and have backgrounds in a variety of practice settings and represent a variety of viewpoints. And with that, I'd like to kick it off. And Bridget, welcome. Thank you for doing this and thank you for being here. Thank you for having Maybe me. I could just start by asking you to describe a little bit so we understand what's going on here. Maybe describe the problem and what we're trying to address. Well, the problem is two pronged. First, many people don't know how to connect to reliable legal information or find a lawyer whose skill set matches their needs. Uh, there was a recent article on the topic from the United Kingdom that shed some light on why we have a market failure in this regard. And I'll quote, where you've got a market that is highly regulated in one way, but where there can be limits to the information that's available to the consumers, it doesn't follow that the competition is fair and open and that the consumers of legal services are the ones benefiting from the competition. So on the other side of that, the ability of lawyers to advertise their skill sets, raise awareness of legal issues affecting the community to reach potential clients, it's stifled by the current rules. Not only are the current rules over prescriptive in that regard, uh, but arguably they continue to have a chilling effect on innovation and communication by lawyers who are uh, trying to strictly comply with their requirements. When after all, uh, lawyer advertising is protected as commercial speech under the First Amendment, and that was set forth by Bates versus the state of Arizona. And interestingly, in that 1977 United States Supreme Court case, the Bates courts emphasized the benefits of information that flow to consumers through advertising and took the position that lawyer advertising would make legal services more accessible to the general public and improve the overall administration of justice. So specifically, the current versions of 7.2 and 7.3, they create practical challenges for lawyers trying to serve the current market. Rule 7.2 prohibits giving anything of value to anyone recommending services, and Rule 7.3 prohibits solicitation by lawyers. So I, I have to admit, and that's one of the things the task force is trying very much to do is help people better understand, including lawyers, better understand what's acceptable and what's not acceptable and to create opportunities where all of us can benefit to the greatest extent. Given the work of the committee and this recommendation, you know, how would the recommendation solve the problem or help solve the problem? Um, well, the core principles of the Rule 7 series state that a lawyer shall not make false or misleading communication about the lawyer uh, or the lawyer services. And the, recommend, uh, the recommendations by the committee is to keep these guiding principles for attorneys intact. And the purpose of the proposal is to eliminate the confusing and the counterproductive and overly prescriptive language set forth in Rule 7.2 and 7.3. And what is being recommended here in Illinois is consistent what's being recommended with regards to amendments of similar rules in other states. So in terms of the recommendation and the changes that are being proposed, I understand that they are consistent with um, other similar initiatives around the country, but you know, how specifically would the recommendations work for Illinois lawyers? Uh, well, specifically here in Illinois, the proposed recommendation amends the Illinois Rules of Professional Conduct 7.1 through 7.4 and related comments and deletes Rule 7.2 and 7.3 and those related comments. In other words, lawyers will be able to give something of value to someone recommending their services as long as they comply with the core principles of Rule 7.1. Solicitation will be prohibited only where it involves coercion, duress, 
harassment or the potential client has indicated that they do not wish to be solicited. If amended, the Rule 7 series will be clear with regards to what attorneys can and can't do in terms of advertising and communication, which will turn enhance the substance and the reliability of the communication to the community. So I, I have to say, um, as someone that now owns a boutique environmental law firm, um, I continue to find it challenging to, to understand these rules and um, I very much appreciate the recommendation here. I think that will make them clearer and more straightforward and easier for lawyers to, to understand. Can you give us in that regard maybe an example of how this might work or how, um, how this could benefit us moving forward? Yes, well, I too am uh, part of a small firm and it's going to open the door for us so, uh, small and solo firms to advertise and to market our services in the same way that other professions and industries currently do. And better advertising marketed to those who are in need of legal services will facilitate access to justice by connecting people in a way that a plain internet search just cannot do. So. Bridget, this all seems very straightforward to me and it certainly makes a lot of sense. Um, do you have any other comments or any other thoughts to share about this um, recommendation? Well, access to justice has been uh, a driving force behind all of these proposals and finally connecting uh, attorneys uh, with the people who are in need of their services uh, will provide better access to justice for those who need it. I, I absolutely agree. Thank you very, very much for being with us today and for your work on the task force and being a part of the committee and, and this recommendation too. Thank you. Um, on behalf of the Chicago Bar Association and the Chicago Bar Foundation, we'd like to thank you for viewing our final pocket chat. We appreciate your interest in the work of our task force. Please visit the Chicago Bar Foundation website to learn more about the final report, the recommendations, and also to take the opportunity to make a public comment. Public comment period is open until Friday, August 21st. We also have a virtual town hall meeting scheduled for Tuesday, August 18th. We invite the public to comment. We invite all Illinois lawyers, lawyers outside of Illinois to comment on regulatory reforms and legal innovation that's being proposed in Illinois. The recommendations will be submitted to our Illinois Supreme Court later this year in September. We thank everyone for their participation. We thank you for watching this pocket chat and we look forward to seeing one of your comments to our report very soon. Thanks again, Bridget. We're glad that you could join us. Thank you.